Lloyd Minster Skating Club is preparing for fall skating classes starting in September. I spoke with uh, Helen Hoffman from the Lloyd Minster Skating Club to find out more. Joining me today is Helen Hoffman. She's from the Lloyd Minster Skating Club and we're going to be talking a bit about the fall registration for the fall classes that they'll be having. So uh, thanks for taking some time to talk with me today. Thanks for having me. So uh, just starting off, uh, I understand that uh, classes are going to be starting up in September. They're going to be happening on uh, Tuesday and Thursday. So can you just uh, take me a little bit through the classes? Yeah, for sure. So yeah, like you said, we're having classes Tuesdays and Thursdays through the whole month of September. So there's nine uh, sessions, I guess, that we'll be having. Um, we're doing pre-can power, um, power skating, and uh, our star skate sessions. And uh, I, like you mentioned, the pre-can power skate, is that something new this year? It is, yeah. We haven't actually done it before, but we've had a lot of requests for it. So this is for novice and initiation level hockey players. Um, that want to get some power skating lessons. So uh, they have to be able to skate a full lap of the ice and be able to stop on command. So it's not a learn to skate. Um, it's a level up from that, I guess. But it's the lowest, youngest uh, level of skaters we will have. And uh, can you just take me through some of the other uh, kind of like uh, age groups that you guys are going to be able uh, to be taking uh, in the park? Yeah, yeah. So for our camp power, our regular camp power session, we have Adam and Pee Wee. Uh, age skaters and then for our star skate we um, we're actually combining our intermediate and our senior sessions this year just because of um, COVID so we lost some ice time with having to do some sanitation in between sessions so we have um, a combined session for our star skate skaters so those are kids that are uh, they'll be anywhere from maybe say 8 to 17. Uh, so can you just talk me through uh, maybe some things that might be different because of uh, COVID? Is there anything that you guys are kind of switching up or some safety uh, protocols? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like kind of how every sport is having to tailor their um, delivery for their programs this year, we're, we're the same. So um, we normally would have sessions running back to back. Now we have to have sessions uh, with have a half an hour break in between our sessions so that everything can be sanitized. Um, boards wiped down. We're not using the dressing rooms. We normally our kids get ready in the dressing rooms. We're going to, we're not probably not going to be end up, end up use, utilizing them. And uh, right now, hopefully it changes, but right now they're not allowing any spectators either. So uh, parents can't come in and watch uh, as of now, but it may change as the season progresses and as this pandemic changes. Uh, and where will the classes be taking place? So uh, fall sessions will be at the um, Service Sports Center, so the Multiplex, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and down the road, is there anything after the fall classes or um, maybe in, a, in kind of addition to them that uh, Lloyd Minster Skating Club will be uh, putting on? Yeah, um, so we will have our regular season. So our fall session runs through the month of September. Then starting in October, we start with what we call, our, I guess, our regular season or winter season. Uh, and we do most of those sessions at the Civic Center, and then we always do our Tuesday nights at the Service Sports Center. Um, and so that is all supposed to be running, you know, the way we normally would with a few alterations to um, follow the COVID protocols. Um, so anyway, our, all of our information can be found on our Facebook page, uh, our Lloydminster Skating Club Facebook page, registration's there as well, and it's all done online. So there's a lot of information available. And uh, because of COVID, are you guys going to have to have fewer uh, people in the classes? Or are you able to have the same amount of people as you normally would? So we, yeah, we do have to have smaller sessions. So we, we have a max of 20 um, right now. So hopefully, again, like I said, that may change as the season goes on. So hopefully we can um, start to open up a bit more. And if not, then we'll continue on with the 20, max of 20 skaters. Uh, normally we could have, I mean, safely we would have at least up to 30. So our our uh, regular sessions and our power skating sessions would have up to 30 and our can skate sessions would have up to 70 like we, we'd have we'd have them as full as we possibly could so it is going to be a big change for us but uh it is for everybody and uh for people who are looking for more information or to register is facebook the best place where they're able to get all that information get the link to register? yeah yeah absolutely usually most people are facebook users so you can find our information on facebook and find the registration for fall school on there as well for for all uh all the the programs that we're offering. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking some time to talk yeah. to today, Helen, and it was uh, yeah. great to get that information out.